I think we can all say that AI is here to stay. Everything has been going at the speed of light, and more and more AI is getting released, developed, right now as we speak. 2023 will go down as a revolutionary year for AI developments. Check this out, you wanna make sure you see all of these because all of these are highly impressive. I think it's only gonna continue to get better. Watch this, NVIDIA's eye contact technology. So I can look over here in this direction, and I'm not looking at you, but now I am, I'm not. I am. And the technology will make it appear as though my eyes really are looking at you. Check this out. At no point in this video am I actually looking at the camera. This is a brand new bit of technology called eye contact that's been developed by NVIDIA. It's currently in beta and it uses machine learning AI technology. He's not looking at us, but he is looking at us. Keep watching. Uh, to make it look as if I'm looking straight down the lens and I'm not and this feels like magic. You can sit on a work Zoom meeting and you look really engaged and you look as if you're listening to whoever's speaking, but in actuality, uh, you can just be sitting on your phone. Like you said, you could be in a Zoom meeting, I could be looking dead at you, I could take my phone, hey, I have my phone, I'm right here in my hand. Oh sure, I'm looking at you, yeah, I'm listening to everything you're saying, keep going. And the AI is making it look like I'm looking dead at you, but I'm not, I'm actually looking at my phone. So this could be good, or this could be bad. Gee, I'm now looking at the lens, and I'm looking away from it, and I'm looking back at it, and I'm looking away from it. And nonetheless, it's pretty impressive. And so like I said, it could be a good thing or a bad thing, but from this demo, this looks highly impressive, could be useful for people who are doing content and reading like a teleprompter type thing, but it could be bad because you could fake like you're paying attention and really not giving the person the undivided attention they might deserve. So now this next one's very interesting too, where the NBA recently showed an app that scans a person and places them exactly how they are into NBA players. Walk around you and just scan your body, right? All right, this is almost over. All right, smile for a second. Yeah. Let's look at the screen. We've inserted you in the avatar selection. And then you see where the red is going? You could choose different players. Yeah. So then we're gonna pick Horton Tucker. And then where that, where Horton Tucker is, so this will be in a live game. You will be inserted into the game, you'll be making all the same movements he was, but it'll look like it's your body. All right, so go ahead and roll that. <laughs> There's that shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Where do you get the idea to stick your tongue out like that? If somebody copied me, you know. It's like you've been lifting. All right, well that was amazing and funny at the same time. That's something that NBA recently showed as far as the app scanning your whole body in a 360 angle and then just like that, it's gonna implant that person with the same clothes and everything they're wearing right there on the court. Where do you get so the idea <laughs> pretty fun, amazing, and uh, entertaining at the same time. Now the next one is cool. This is Google Dreamix. This is where you could generate videos when given a video plus prompt. Check this out. So I have input video on the left hand side. I'm inputting a video, but then here's the generated video. On the right hand side, moving through a field on a wooden path with fire on all sides. So from this video, it's creating a brand new video with these fire fields on the right hand side. Input video, a deer. A deer rolling on the skateboard. So a deer walking on the left, but now he's rolling a skateboard on the right. Doing a pretty good job. Be careful, little buddy. Okay, look at this. Input video, writing paper down. Right-hand side, robot claw writing on a paper. So now they fed it actual images of this teddy bear. So just off of these images, and then with the prompt, a bear is drinking from a glass. It's going to make this bear drink from a glass just by using these images on the left-hand side with a prompt on the right-hand side. This is pretty crazy if you ask me. Okay. Stay hydrated, bear. <laughs> a bear walking. After his glass of water, he's walking. Good job. Okay, here we go again. We have figurine set, photos, and a toy fireman is lifting weights. Here he goes. Okay, make sure to breathe. Lifting weights. It's nice and strong, getting the biceps going. Here's this one. Input image. Now we're going to add a prompt. Birds flying in the sky. Camera is zooming out to reveal an American buffalo bathing in a river detailed and it got it accurate. This is pretty fascinating. So now the next one I want to talk about is your feelings. There's an AI that can detect your feelings based off of your facial expression. So here is this app and then we have Will Smith over here on the left hand side. Now check this out on the right hand side. We have the yellow dot showing us his feelings right now. He's neutral. He's happy. 
okay? Positive, and then over here, it's gonna move up and down. Let's skip forward a little bit, and let's go to uh, this guy here. Okay, so it shows him more excited, okay? The neutral, disgust, sad, depressed, bored, tired. So this one has sad, depressed, bored. Now it goes up to angry, fearful, surprised, neutral. That yellow ball is just dancing around, watching her facial expressions, and then depicting exactly the way this character feels. So, okay, now the next one is getting a little bit trippy, a little bit scary, a little bit, a little bit crazy now. Voice, face, depiction where you can basically have somebody's face be a completely different voice. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. That was Leonardo DiCaprio, but he was speaking with Joe Rogan's voice. Others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. I play fictitious characters, often solving fictitious problems. As if pretending that climate change wasn't real would somehow make it go away. But I think we all know better than that now. Pretty incredible and realistic job that uh, he did sounding just like Kim Kardashian. So this is going to be called Universal Translator. Now this is where you will not only translate languages, but it will make your lips and mouth movement match up to the words you're saying and make it actually appear as though you're speaking that native language. Check this out. What many college students don't realize is that knowing when to ask for help and then following through on using helpful resources is actually a hallmark of becoming a productive adult. Muchos universitarios no comprenden que saber cuándo pedir ayuda y usar recursos útiles es en realidad una clave para convertirse en un adulto productivo. And that was made by Google, recently announcing its mind-blowing Universal Translator AI tool. And now this last one I want to show you is just a really amazing app called Runway ML. This is another text-to-video that you can make. And so type in palm tree in the tropical island, professional, realistic, hit generate. And then it's going to actually generate a four-second video for you. And then as we're waiting on that, you can kind of see what Runway ML can do. So it can also do the text-to-image. So everything that we're all familiar with now, different apps like Midjourney or Leonardo AI. That's nothing new. Image to image, where you can instantly remix the style and composition of any image. So on the left-hand side, you can upload one image, give it a prompt, and it can completely regenerate it with a completely different style and composition of any image. Pretty amazing. Infinite image, which is something that Generative Fill just came out with in Photoshop and in Adobe Firefly. Video in painting and custom AI training, which is all pretty cool. You can also remove the background on videos, which is something else you can do in Canva now too, but I think it's pretty cool how you can do all that. So with that in mind, let's go over to our video and check this out. So I put a palm tree on a tropical island, professional realistic, hit play, and I have now a four second video of just that. So it's not bad. Again, can use a little bit of work, but I think over time, this A&I is gonna continue just to get better and better. It's like every time I blink and look up or wake up from my slumber, some new AI development is coming out, something new is on the path, and then there are new improvements down the road. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah.